Yo, this minimum wage debate is so exhausting. I wish people had some fucking depth of understanding of how fucking business works before sounding off about this shit that they don't understand. How do you not understand that by making the federal minimum wage $15, you are interfering in a private transaction between two consenting adults where you could agree to accept an amount less than $15. That is a private contract between two individuals. If you want to accept $14 an hour because maybe the place is closer to your house or it's a job that you want, the federal government is making it illegal for you to be able to accept an amount of money that you're willing to accept. You fucking chooch it. These clowns like Bernie Sanders that have never employed any person ever, ever successfully employed a person ever in his entire life is trying to tell you that you need to pay an employee $50 an hour. Those people that make less than $15 an hour right now are not going to have a job. They're going to lose their job. Then they'll have no income, you chooch. That, don't you understand that? If you make it 15 and the business cannot financially support that wage, there is no job. The job goes away. Then there's nothing. Then you have nothing. Ah. And then all of the rates for the items that people were usually getting paid $10 an hour to serve or make, the rates for those items are going to go up, which means that the people at the bottom that have the least amount of money are going to be negatively impacted by this law the most. So the people that don't have money are going to be paying more for basic goods and services. You choose. But if you listen to people that do not understand the basic fundamentals of business, they'll tell you that these, that these people are being exploited. They're being exploited or that it's racist. Yo, yo, stop weighing in on this if you don't know. Like, ah, uh, oh, uh, whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, make it, why don't you make it $500 an hour? And then people will use like Walmart and McDonald's as an example. And it's like, dog. You know how much a cheeseburger is at McDonald's? It's $1. You know people that buy McDonald's cheeseburgers for $1 are probably, some of the time, probably the vast majority of the time, are buying it because it's inexpensive, right? So that person not met, now has to get paid $15 an hour. What do you think is going to happen to the price of that burger, Corn Pop? That burger is going to go up, you idiot! And it's, ah! And then it's like, well, what about Walmart? Walmart, what about Walmart? Yeah, all right, that's fine. But like, you know how, you know what, you know the types of tasks that happen at Walmart? It's like, put the, put the paper towel on the shelf. If you have to pay a guy that's making $8 an hour to put a paper towel on the shelf, you have to charge more for the paper towel, which means that the paper towels, the basic goods are going to go up for the people that it, it's like, ah, <laughs> There's a lot of really smart people that work at McDonald's and Walmart, and all they're going to do is they're going to do a cost-benefit analysis of paying someone $15 an hour. They're going to say, you know what? It would be a whole lot less expensive if we just made a robot or purchased a robot or automated these systems. And then those automated systems are going to get made in China and overseas. And all of those automated systems are going to replace all of those manual labor workers that are getting paid $8 an hour, and they will have no job at so woke and virtuous, so woke, so woke, trying to stand up for the little guy, stand up for the little guy. Don't you think, like, don't you think that all of us want more people to make $15 an hour? We all want that. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants people to be successful and protected. We all want people to make $15 an hour. But just because we want it doesn't mean that it's right. Just because it just seems good doesn't mean that it's right. And imagine how, imagine how you would have to, imagine how much depth of understanding you would have to have on this topic to go against something that that seems so obviously virtuous, so obviously kind. Well, Bobby is so kind because he wants people to make fifty dollars an hour. Imagine, imagine how, imagine how much you would need to understand about this topic to be on the other side of it. For to listen to people say that you you want to exploit people, or that you're racist, or that you're whatever because they don't understand. Imagine how much conviction you would have to have to take that position. Okay.